What's up guys? Today we're on the far west side of San Antonio and we are located in Davis Ranch, which is a master planned community. You guys already know we're gonna be touring three different homes today, each at different price points. This one right behind me is gonna be starting in the 300,000s. We're gonna be looking at something started in the 400,000s and the 500,000s for you guys today. You're gonna wanna make sure to stay tuned till the end where I'm gonna reveal the amazing incentives that these new build companies have to offer here in Davis Ranch. It's bright out here so I got my sunglasses on. It's like the first sunny day in San Antonio. I know you guys want to check out this home so let's go ahead and go inside. By the way, I know that that says high 200,000s but I just talked to the sales consultant and their inventory is low. So if you guys are even thinking about it, you're going to want to hop on it. You guys already know you're going to want a realtor to represent you so just give me a call. Without further ado, let's get inside. All right, so walking up, we do have a little covered porch area. This would be nice to just kind of set some lawn chairs, kind of look out into the road, sip your coffee in the morning. And then we do have our traditional front door as well with the nice white stone border. But let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, so immediately walking in, we do have a view into our kitchen and living area and all of that good stuff. So immediately to our left, they do have this set up as an office, but I did just find out that this is actually going to be a fourth bedroom regularly. So decently sized, we do have our windows. And then continuing to walk through, we are greeted by our kitchen area. They have created a dining area as well as the living area. And then you guys already know, we're gonna check out that backyard. I love the backyards in these new builds for some reason. Looks like we have some bedrooms right over here, but let's go ahead and look at that kitchen. All right, so we'll start over at this end. This is pretty cool. We do have a pull out trash can. It's located next to the dishwasher. This is kind of a different setup than we've seen in some of our new builds previously. I kind of like it though. It's just right under the little coffee bar area that they've set up. We do have our cabinets, nice shelving in there as well. This could be your makeshift breakfast nook if you wanted it to be. Of course, we do have our dishwasher space here. And then we do have a double basin sink as well. Nice stainless steel, pretty nice size as well. I will say I do like whenever the sinks are separated, you can kind of keep your dishes organized, I guess, if you wanted to. We have our garbage disposal situation and they even do have the drinking water faucet as well. A nice neutral backsplash and then there is our counter space. Here we have some drawer space. And then once again, some more cabinets down below. And then right over here, a bit of a smaller drawer. Keep kitchen utensils. Oh, this is kind of cool. In this cabinet down here, we have a pull-out tray. That's always nice and I like that it's located next to the stove as well. You can put your cooking oils, your spices in there for super easy access. Another thing we haven't seen so far. And then we do have storage down here as well. Tons of outlets on the countertops too, so you guys can plug in anything you might possibly need. More shelving up here. This is a huge space, y'all. I would probably use it how they have it set up with all of these dishes. And then same kind of cabinet right here. Right next to it, we do have our microwave oven set up. Classic over microwave cabinet storage. We do have shelving in that one. And then another little cabinet, and then we do have our kind of smaller drawer and cabinet situation here as well. We also have cabinetry right above the fridge and an awesome looking fridge as well. And we do have an island. 
island. So we do have an island in the kitchen. I like the size of it. It is a little bit smaller, but you can definitely still put some chairs up to it and it serves its purpose, which is the most important part. Also outlets over here. And of course we have storage, which is another very important part. I feel like an island should be functional and that's exactly what this is. Shelving in those cabinets down there. And then another outlet. So it just adds a little bit more counter space if that's something that you do need. Also more storage. And then it creates kind of a casual eating breakfast nook if you want to call it that. And then moving right along, we do have our dining area. I like that this rectangle table is set up just right in front of that window. Like we've talked about in our past videos, kind of defining the space with a rug. You get a look into your side yard. And then we do have another defining space moment with this table that's backed up to the common area. So here in the common area, we do have a couple of different windows. If you wanted to make this dark, you could definitely close those blinds and you've got yourself a movie room. We also have a nice tray ceiling that just adds so much detail to this room. This chair is pretty cool. And it's actually pretty comfy. I've never seen anything like this. I like it. We do have this pretty large wall space over here. Definitely a lot of potential. They have a television, but if you wanted to, you could totally add some more storage other than the cabinets down below. Artwork if you wanted to. And then we do have this closet here across from the dining room that I didn't even see. So this actually is the pantry. So we've got wire shelving in here. There is definitely enough space to make it your own. And with the amount of cabinet space underneath the island and even just above the countertops that I showed you guys, if this for some reason isn't enough, then you definitely have more storage that is available to you. And these are gonna be double doors on that pantry. So coming off of our common area, we do have this little entrance which is going to be to the primary bed. But before I show you guys that, we're gonna go check out the other two bedrooms. So we have one here and one here. Those are gonna be the Syntex offices. But here's the first room. I do really like how they've staged this. I'm just such like a girly person in general, but um, it's a very cute little room. Definitely enough for a bed, like a full, like a twin bed if you wanted to put up against this wall back here. There's actually a lot of different ways that you can configure this room. It's kind of up to your liking. We do have our natural lighting coming in here. And then that's gonna be exit as you can see they actually have stones that you can choose like brick which i haven't actually seen the samples like out in the open like that in a new build yet i kind of like it you can see exactly what you have to choose from this door is going to be our closet area So this is the railing that they've included and then of course the wire shelf as well. But especially if it's a kid's room, you're definitely gonna have enough room in here. Like I said, if you put a twin bed up against this wall right here, you could even put it in the middle of this wall to give it more of that feel. 
You could also put a dresser here. There's a lot of different ways you could configure this room. Now I believe this is storage. Yep, that's all the fun stuff. And then we have our second bedroom. So this is actually a way better way <laughs> to configure this room than what I was just speaking about. But as you can see, they've got this full-sized bed up against the wall. They've got nightstands on each side. Definitely some room for that. Lower utility bills, no sweat. We love that, especially in a Texas summer. It's already hot outside, you guys. Nice little window. And then we do have our closet in this one as well. If it was my guess, it's probably the same. Yeah, same as the other one. Heading out, that was the first bedroom we looked at. There's the kitchen. We do have this little closet here, probably a little linen closet, well, coat closet whatever you want to use this as. It is located directly next to the bathroom, so a linen closet might not be a bad idea, but up to you. Another small little rack, and then we do have our full bath. I didn't even realize I still have my sunglasses on, but I like this mirror. Can you see yourself here? We are here. But this is what the sink countertop situation looks like. We don't have any drawers, but we do have cabinets down below. They've got some stuff in there. I do like that they've included these in the shower because it adds that extra storage. We looked at another model homes, but they didn't have like hardly any storage in their shower. So I was over here suggesting those little like over the shower head organizers. But yeah, very functional shower bath situation. And then we do have our towel rack over here. Heading back into our common space. We are greeted. This is like a little mini hallway. So it definitely serves more of a privacy standard. And we do have our master bed. So of course this room is a lot larger. We've got a couple of other doors to kind of go in, but this is definitely a king sized bed that we've got here. Nightstands on the sides as well, like I told you guys. And then right across, they do have a pretty large dresser and a ton of room to walk in between. That's kind of the biggest thing is whether you can fit a king size bed and a really large dresser. So in here you absolutely can. They do have another ceiling cut out. I forgot what the name is. It adds detail to your room. I like that little chandelier. Then this is gonna be the master closet. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so I, I just saw this and I thought it cut off like right here. And I was like, that's really small for a master closet. But no, we've got, we've got a lot of room in here, so. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'll stand at the other side. This is me standing on the wall and that's how much room we've got. So we can definitely walk through. Again, we've got these wire racks right here. And then they have included some shelving as well. Kind of a makeshift shelving for the price you're definitely getting a pretty decent sized closet. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the master bath. Disclaimer, various features of this floor plan have been modified. You know what? I'm gonna make that point. Whenever we're looking at these model homes, a lot of the floor plans and move-in ready homes that they do have aren't gonna be the exact same. This is mainly to help you guys kind of get an idea of the craftsmanship of the aesthetic of each builder. And especially when I'm telling you guys prices, usually they're gonna be starting prices because the things that are in this model home may not be 
perfectly available to you. That's why it's important to go ahead and reach out so we can figure that out together. I can contact the builder and we can take a look at our options, but I'll just show you guys this bathroom really fast. So we do have our double sink set up. Again, not really a drawer situation, but we do have cabinets and there is a little bit more counter space here. So if you do need to put some stuff, you can get a little organizer. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All these little stickers they have. And we do have a full size tub back here behind this door. It's making good use out of the space for sure. And then we do have our stand up walk-in shower as well. So we've got a little stand here for some product storage, again, right there. But yeah, it definitely serves its purpose of being a primary bathroom. And then of course we do have our door. It's our lighting situation. And then let's go check out that backyard. Okay, so immediately walking out, we do have this patio area. It is covered. So same thing, honestly, I think it probably is the same size as the patio that's in the front, um, but definitely enough room to set up some chairs, kind of look out into the backyard. And this is a really decently sized backyard, you guys. That's the end of the fencing there. And then it just goes out over there. And we do have our HVAC actually in our backyard, completely fenced off. But you definitely have enough room for play, for the dogs to run, for your family picnics, your cookouts, all that good stuff. So that is our first house that we're gonna look at today. Let's go ahead and move on to the next, which is gonna be priced in the 400,000 starting. And just remember, we're gonna reveal those incentives that each of these builders have at the very end of the video. So you guys can make sure to take advantage of that. Okay guys, so now we are at Pulte. We're gonna take a look at this home right inside. So I just talked to the sales consultant and she said that they do have one story homes that are starting in the 300,000s, but for the most part, it's gonna be low fours. So depending on what you're looking at, um, I just got the details on some awesome incentives. So I'll make sure to reveal that at the end, but let's go ahead and take a look inside this home. So I really do like the entrance of this. We've got almost like a second door kind of outlined here and then we do have the very tall doors you guys can y'all see that that's a tall door but let's go ahead and go inside i haven't even seen this home and i'm really liking what i'm seeing so far so we do have really nice hardwood floors immediately walking in and then look at this so we do have our staircase we have our second floor that's overlooking the rest of the home. And then we do have quite a bit going on here to the left. So let's go ahead and explore that first. So coming right over here, this is gonna be our first bedroom. Very, very bright with these panel style windows. And then we do have our closet right over here, double doors. So we kind of have moved on from the rack shelving and we do have the wood railing here. I like those chairs. And then some good shelving. It's just very bright and open feeling in here. And in this room, we've already got a ton of storage. This is a full size bed. And then we do have those pretty big nightstands and dresser. And this is only the first bedroom, so I can't even wait to see what the primary bed looks like. Moving out, we do have an accompanying bathroom right here. So double sinks that are gonna be located here. Once again, we don't have any drawer space, but we do have cabinets down below. And then we have a little bit of a linen closet back here with some shelving and an awesome walk-in shower. This is pretty similar to the Syntex shower that we just saw, maybe a little bit more detail right here. Little shelf. This 
is a shower situation where you need one of those overhanging things. I don't know if that's a pro or a con yet. We'll have to decide. Shower option has changed. So yeah, another reminder that, you know, these model homes, it's to get a vibe of the builder rather than be like, oh, that's exactly what I want, you know? We do have a little coat closet here. We have that railing and the shelving above. Not a light in here, but you do have enough natural lighting. Moving on, we have this really nice humongous wall art. And then we do actually have a formal dining area. So in the last place, it was more of a, you know, just like general dining area that they've created in an open space, but this is definitely more categorized. So we've got, again, our matching wall art here. I really like this house. And then we've even got space for some cabinet storage here, another big wall, a very full-sized dining room table that fits six. And if you didn't need to define the space even more, they've got a nice rug. That's what the ceiling looks like. Okay, that's gonna be another area to search. But right over here, we do have offices. So that would most likely be the garage because we do have our mud room right here. Got our hook storage, our storage down below. And then coming in here, we do have a study. So this is super untraditional. I guess the layout is a lot different than what we've seen so far. It's definitely more of a secluded study, which I kind of like. Definitely in the center of the house and you've got these glass doors. So you can definitely create a little bit more privacy if need be, but you still have a glimpse into the rest of the house. We do have a window over here for some natural lighting. And I mean, y'all, this room is really big. Let me show y'all. And then moving right in here, just right next to it, we do have our laundry room. Pretty classic laundry room. This one does have cabinetry up above, which is nice. We didn't have a laundry room in the last place. This, I wanna say is like, oh, some storage. Well, and that is actually under the staircase that we're gonna go up in just a second. That staircase. Moving right along, that's the back door in the dining room. Oh my gosh. I love this house. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. The vibe they've got going on in here is almost like farmhouse, kind of like beachy, and I really like it, but we'll start over here. So we do have our microwave and, or actually this is gonna be double oven. Yeah. Up there, oven there. And yeah, we do have the under the oven storage for all your cookie sheets some above storage. You guys can probably already tell, but there is a ton of cabinetry in here and they are all very similar. I do like these narrow handles as well. We do have our drawers. There are three of them. That's a super deep drawer. So you could even put your pots and pans in here if you wanted to store them that way. Um, that's probably what I would do, especially being so close to the stove. Yeah, nice and deep drawers. And then we do have our counter space with our gas stove. So this is gonna be the microwave. It's, oh, that's a corner cabinet. So those are useful. Um, it really just kind of amplifies the storage that they have in here. Another big drawer right here. Some more cabinets, and then we do have just tons of counter space. Like we've got our fridge, that shelving up there, our cabinets, and this is the pantry. 
So decently sized pantry and we do have a light in this pantry, which is nice. And with all of the shelving in here too, you're definitely gonna have enough room. And then we have a pretty, I mean a very large island space here. So we've got our dishwasher, we've got our under sink storage here. And this looks like it's a pull out trash can. Yep, put a little drawer right above it. And then here we have our stainless steel sink. This one is deep and it doesn't have the separation, so you can really fill it up if you need to. Same kind of water spigot and then a nice faucet here. Awesome. I think this is granite. The countertops. And these are the different options. I like this one that they chose. And they do have seating over here as well. Like this is very farmhouse, the decor. And they put kind of a more casual dining situation over here. So you've got a lot of space. You've got your island seating. You've got, if you wanted to set this up as like a more casual eating spot over here. And then we also have our dining room. So if you've got a big family, this is a great option. And then right over here, we do have our common area, which y'all, this is a huge, common area. Definitely tons of wall space. You've got enough room for a pretty ginormous couch. You've got your view into the backyard, even a fireplace, you guys. That's not real wood, but it still serves its purpose. We love a good fireplace. And then we have another really cool little space. So this does look like a little office space. Again, we're kind of looking out into the kitchen, into the living room. If you wanted to turn this into like a bar area, that's what I thought it was whenever I first came in. You could totally do that too. We've got kind of the same drawer set up, three drawers there. That one's a little bit deeper. They do have some cabinets here as well. And then they've actually put up like a little calendar, which is cute. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. That's what it looks like from the common area. And then from the kitchen, you can kind of see into that nook, which is super cool. And then walking right back here, we do have some more storage. So this is a really deep, like, this goes back quite a bit, maybe like a linen closet or because it's located so close to the kitchen, you could even keep like bulkier kitchen items in here if you wanted to, if you didn't have enough space in that pantry. But we are graded by the primary bed and primary bath here. Talk about space, y'all, I mean, this is definitely a king bed, if not larger. And then we do have our nightstands, but look how much room. I mean, you could put a California king if you wanted to. You could even make this a dresser if you wanted to. We've even got room for a little seating area over here with these kind of oval or cylinder shaped windows. They kind of create arch windows. Um, and then over here, we do have our dresser. If you needed a bigger dresser, you could definitely fit that. Nice chandelier, tons of room in here. And then we've still got these wood floors throughout. Double doors that lead into our primary bath. So we've got the double sinks. We've definitely got a ton of counter space here. And then they are incorporating drawers into this bathroom, which is something that's really important to me. Um, I just have so much stuff in my bathroom. That one's a deeper drawer. We've got the under the sink storage there. Really big window and then those are the lights. And we actually do have a little medicine cabinet right here as well, which is something that we haven't seen. And a new build so far, we've got our little hand towel racks. And then the shower is something crazy, y'all. 
I mean, look at this. It's like all the way down here. You've got your shower head here. You've got a shower head up top. And then you've got your little shower bench all the way over here. But you've got storage. You've got a little window for some natural lighting. And then this is the primary closet. So I feel like for the space that's in the room, the closet could be a little bit bigger, especially considering like, I mean, that's a huge bathroom and a huge bedroom. I, I thought the closet would be a little bit bigger, if I'll be honest, but they do have shelving here. You've got your rack. Yeah, this is normally shelving. You've got the wood railing. And then, yeah, if you were curious about the brick options, they have them all over here. Cool, cool. And then this is gonna be the toilet, which does have a door located right next to the bathroom. Okay, so walking out, we're gonna go check out that upstairs area. Okay, so immediately, as soon as you come up the stairs, we do have this second entertainment center, if you wanna call it. This is a huge space. I mean, if you wanted to turn this into like a second common area, you could totally put a TV on that wall and get a huge couch that covers that. I mean, they've even got foosball in here, guys. And then this is overlooking the entrance, which is super cool. But yeah, they've set up a very like little conversational center, some little homework desks for the kids. And then this model is actually located right across the street from the little like community center. Right over here, we do have a little linen closet. You could put some games there if you wanted to. Oh, and then here they have like a movie room. So scratch my common area idea. I mean, there's just a ton of room to do whatever you guys want in here. And this movie room is huge too. I mean, look, look at that couch, you guys. That's ginormous. But yeah, this could totally be a movie room. You just close these little double doors right here. Turn off the lights. You've got these fun pictures here. And then right over here, we do have two more bedrooms. So I'll go in this pink one first. So yeah, full-sized bed. You do have a pretty big dresser in here as well. Um, but you know, a little bit less space between the dresser and the bed, which wouldn't really be a problem if it was a kid's room. You could definitely fit a queen size bed in here. This is a full. And then we're on the second floor now, so looking out there. Double door closet in this room. And we've got our railing, our shelf. This is gonna be the bathroom. Both of those rooms are gonna share. So funny, I feel like this bathroom doesn't match the rest of the house. We've got like dark cabinets. Well, it's a model home. Let's be real, Reese. They're probably just showing the um, diversity. But yeah, this doesn't really match the rest of the house. But anyways, kind of the same sink setup. This is your shower bath situation. Very simple tile. And then, wow, this room feels way bigger. Yeah, this room is definitely way bigger. So this is again a full size bed and then we do have the nightstands, um, but again, still tons of room on the side. Same window setup and then same closet setup as the other room. I don't know, maybe it's cause they had a dresser in the other room. 
that made it feel smaller, but this room just feels bigger. But yeah, that is the conclusion of the house area. Let's go check out that backyard. Okay, so similar kind of like smaller um, concrete slab covered patio seating. Um, they do have a fan, which I could really use right now. It's, it's muggy out here in San Antonio, you guys. I'll show y'all kind of a better view of that. And then this is gonna be the rest of the backyard. So, pretty decently sized backyard. I mean, I'm fairly positive you could put a pool back here if you wanted to. That's the master bed. You see this like curved window structure and then we go all the way over there. Hey guys, so I am back here at the crib. I just wanna give y'all a quick lay of the land in terms of exactly where Davis Ranch is located in San Antonio, Texas. I already mentioned that we are on the west side of San Antonio, but you guys already know, we wanna look at what's around us, what kind of schools are around us, or what schools, I should say, not what kind. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at that map. Okay, so this is Davis Ranch, but I'm gonna zoom out really fast to show you guys a better view of where we're located. So here is central San Antonio, and I guess you could call it Northwest if you wanted to. Technically, Northwest is mainly covering this area right here, and then West is all of this, as you can see the far West side. Um, but technically it is more north on the west side of San Antonio, Texas. So we are going to be outside of Loop 1604. So we are kind of, you know, outside of central San Antonio. To get to central San Antonio, the airport and all that good stuff, it's going to take you around 30 minutes. Zooming in, so we do have the Government Canyon State National Park. We also already did a video on another master planned community that's located around here. Check it out up here if you would like to take a look. But um, West San Antonio has a lot of great options in terms of great builders for master plan communities and new build homes. So here is Loop 1604. So we're just, I mean, literally right outside of it. And with access to the loop, you're going to be able to get from one side of San Antonio to the other very easily, and you're also going to have a lot available. So Davis Ranch is right here. You've got your Target, H-E-B, you know, you've got a trampoline park, maybe for the kids. Um, you've got your Walmart down here, Whataburger, you know, true Texans can't live without Whataburger, I guess, right? Is that what they say? Um, John M. Harlan High School, which, um, you know, could feed into Davis Ranch, but I'm going to give you guys the exact schools that feed in. As we kind of zoom in, um, so this, let me show you guys. When you are coming into Davis Ranch, um, so I came in off of Galm Road. See, here's Coventry Homes, it's Stillwater Ranch. It's the community I linked. Um, and then you have, you know, your Davis Ranch HOA Park. So one thing about Davis Ranch is that they have awesome amenities. So yes, there is an HOA fee, fee associated with living in this community, but they have got playgrounds, they've got a pool, they've got a community park. Um, I mean, in my opinion, they've got a pretty good setup. So, um, Yes, here is the HOA Park. And then Davis Ranch itself. So there are a bunch of different builders in this master plan community as well. We've looked at a couple of communities kind of like this. And then also some builders kind of go off and create their own communities. So this has a lot of different builders as showcased in this video. I only showed you guys three, but there are more than that. So if you do want me to check out those other builders, please make sure to leave me a comment down below. Um, but as you can see, this is kind of the uh, model home way. I forgot the name of the street was kind of fun, but it was like a model home park. That was what the sign said. So those are all located right here. And then the actual master plan community does span um, quite a bit outwards. So, um, you know, here's like mission update, you know, homes for rent. It's all the way up here 
around here and then kind of down here. Um, and we've even got Davis Ranch up here. So it's a very large master plan community. Um, as you can see over here, it's just all green. Um, so it's, it's very much like a hill country feel whenever you're living here. The schools that Davis Ranch feeds into are in Northside ISD. If you want a little bit more information on those schools, I would highly recommend checking out niche.com. It's a great resource to be able to look at school ratings um, and just general things about neighborhoods in San Antonio, but also all over the United States. It's, it's a wonderful resource. Um, but specifically for Davis Ranch, there's Tomlinson Elementary, Folks Middle School, and Sonia Sotomayor High School. So those are the main three. Um, but of course there are other schools located around so you know if you want to take a closer look at that go ahead also if you need a little bit of help finding that information you guys already know who to call this girl right here but without further ado we're going to go ahead and get into that third model home that i know y'all are just dying to see i told you all that would be a quick little intermission right here but let's go ahead and get into it Okay guys, I'm back. This house right behind me, we're looking at David Weekly Homes now. Their homes are gonna be starting in the high 400,000s to 500,000s. So they do have a move-in inventory ready. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this house. Okay, so walking in, we do have tile flooring throughout, which is kind of different from other houses that we've looked at so far. Immediately to the left, we do have this pretty open study area. They've made it more of like a kid-friendly, school-friendly looking area, I suppose. But we do have, you know, a vision out into the front yard. And then we have what would be your garage area over here, but this is the David Weekly offices. Moving along, we do have our laundry room. I really like the tiling. I love when a laundry room has like fun tiling on the floor. And this is probably the largest laundry room that we've been in today. We do have nice shelving there, a little natural light situation. And then we do have a closet here as well. So a little bit of shelving. We do have a light in that closet. Again, those are the offices. And then I like this kind of little nook that we've created there. Not we, they have. Nice little accent wall, hand sanitizer. No, I'm just kidding. And then we have our mudroom, which I'll show you guys. So in these last two houses, they have mudrooms that they put in, which is awesome. Um, this one is a little bit more equipped, I guess you could say. It might actually be the same <laughs> as the last one, but the ceilings in here are definitely taller, which I think is what makes it feel bigger, goodness. They do have the shelf storing right here, the little coat racks, and then this is the door that would be to your garage which is actually the David Weekly offices. Look at this kitchen, y'all. This definitely has a different feel from especially the past two houses that we looked at. On camera, the wood is not picking up. It's picking up as more beige than it is in real life. It's very like peachy. But here is going to be our fridge area. We do have overhead storage there, our microwave, and then we do have these drawers as well. A little underneath cabinet storage, dishwasher, and I love this backsplash tile that they've got going on. And look at these lights that they've got under the cabinets. I really like that as well. You've got your stainless steel sink. And I do like the kind of black accent that they've got here. Another little drinking spigot. The sink is a little bit smaller than that last one, but it's still pretty deep. Ooh, wow, let's see. 
sponge storage. We haven't seen that yet in any new build. Little, that's cool, okay. More drawer space. Big drawer space. And then we've got kind of a half cabinet there. More cabinets. And look at this, you guys. Don't you just love how that looks? That's some good ventilation. It's probably the best ventilation that we've seen today. And then this is gonna be an electric stove, not a gas stove. Right there. And then they've created kind of like a makeshift little coffee nook here as well. Then we do have our pantry. Ooh, wow, I really like how they, <laughs> so many Cheerios. <laughs> So many Cheerios. I like I like the dark pantry. It feels kind of cool in here. And they've got that same tile they had in the laundry room, but um, lots of storage. Wow. I kind of like that pantry a lot. Um, so many Cheerios. Okay. And then we do have our island space as well. So this is a ton of storage that they've got on the island. These drawers all look like they're gonna be the same size. I mean, these are these cabinets are wider than the ones that we have over there with a the little shelf. Moving around. And then we do have seating over here as well. You could even put a couple more bar stools right there if three isn't enough. We do have the outlets as well. And then over here, we do have our common area and dining room set up. So again, kind of defining the spaces with the different rugs, putting the couch up against to kind of block that off. And they've even created different lighting structures to really help kind of make it its own space. But we've got our windows right over here. Again, this is gonna be a dining room table that fits six people, so really nice space there. And then this is our common area. I do really like this backsplash that they've got behind the TV. And again, just kind of really sorting it out with the tile floor, putting a rug there. That's the backyard. We'll go see that in a second. But we do have a lot going on back here, so let's go check that out. So, back here we are greeted by our first bathroom of the house, and this is a full bath. Full bath here, the tile and the shower match. We do have our sink here, cabinets underneath, more black hardware. And then we have a second kind of little common area for the kids, which is fun because we've got two, what they have set up as kids rooms over here. This one's super fun. Walking into this room, you just kind of feel like you're at camp. <laughs> it's set up like very like, Fisherman style, they've even got those little fisherman things up there. Oh, and a little fisher thing right here. Okay, yeah, we are, I'm on the right vibe. So yeah, they've got this cool little like bunk bed situation. I'm sure you could even put a bed down here if you wanted to. Got our closet over here. Really tall ceilings, goodness. But yeah, lots of potential for how you could set up the bed situation in here. I just think it's fun that they put that little bunk bed. Natural lighting. And then we've got our girls room right over here. Okay, and then another closet 
in here. Ooh, this closet's way bigger. Okay. So yeah, we've got more of a railing situation, more shelving, goes back quite a bit, and it is underneath the staircase. That we'll check out here in a second. But yeah, way bigger closet there. Still got our window. And those two rooms would probably share this one bedroom or bathroom right here. And then there's our stairs. Okay, so up here we do have our second kind of common area, entertainment area. I really like all of the colors they've got going on. How fun. But another room that you can kind of just set up as your own. There is a bathroom up here, so it really does make a good entertainment space. You don't have to like go downstairs and use the bathroom. And it is a full bed or a full bath. Excuse me. Black hardware, same kind of under the sink storage. Yeah, if you guys can tell, this is a pretty large space up here. So that is what's upstairs. We saw the primary bed. Hmm. Oh, we, we just didn't walk far enough. I'm like, oh my gosh, they don't have a primary bedroom in here? Okay, so it is kind of hidden back here because you can't, let me show you guys why I couldn't find it. Well, now you can like see it, but it's behind this entrance. So there's the backyard and then there's the primary bed. And that's the front door. So yeah, kind of hidden. Okay, just didn't go far back enough. <laughs> Here we go into the primary bed. So again, fairly large space here. This looks This is a ginormous bed. This is gonna definitely be a king bed. Nightstands on the ends. I do love the little white or uh, gray kind of contrast backsplash they've got going on. Cool chandelier. And then we do have a lot of natural lighting into the backyard. Little seating area. Definitely enough room for a dresser. And then there is the common area. And then this is gonna be the primary bath and closet. So I do feel like in this bathroom, they're showcasing a lot of what they have to offer because that does not match that, does not match that. You got two different sinks, but again, the point of a model home, showcase what you got. Two different sinks. I don't know what it is with the no drawers in these model homes, you guys. But, in the sink storage, you've got your toilet in there. Definitely a full-size bathtub. And walk-in shower. Towel racks there. And then this is gonna be the walk-in closet. So this is kind of interesting. We haven't seen, well, maybe we have, which just different with clothes actually in it, but you do have the two shelves, kind of consistent, except for right here. Throughout the whole closet, you've got your railing, and then again, y'all, those tall ceilings, these are probably the tallest ceilings we've been in. And then we do have our storage shelf below. You've got another little storage set up here even store like it's like suitcases that's what I would put there but yeah and then let's go check out that backyard Okay, so this is the backyard. This is definitely a larger 
concrete slab. And the other two that we looked at, and I do love the red brick as well. Nice little covered area. You've got all this lighting up above. Oh my goodness, is this the whole backyard? Okay, there's another model home over there. Okay, so yeah, this is the backyard. Right here. Yeah, y'all let me know in the comment section down below which of these homes was your favorite and which price point was your favorite as well. But as I've promised, we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the incentives that each of these builders have to offer, all located within Davis Ranch here on the west side of San Antonio. So let's hop into that. Okay guys, so what we've all been waiting for, I'm now gonna reveal the incentives that each of these builders have to offer located in Davis Ranch on the west side of San Antonio, Texas. Texas. I have my notes right here so I'm gonna kind of read them off and just to let you guys know or remind you I guess I should say this is all public information that you can obtain yourself by going in to see any of these builders and talking to the sales consultants it's also available online so this is just information that I'm sharing with you guys and I do want to take another second to just kind of recognize how valuable a realtor can be for finding all of this information for you so you can kind of sit back really look at what means the most to you and have a little bit of assistance in terms of the home buying process. So first we're going to be looking at Syntex, which was the first model home that we went to see. They actually are the only builder that we went toward today that offer a $2,000 incentives to hometown heroes, which I think is super cool. I haven't necessarily seen that in any of the other builders so far, but this was the little flyer that they gave me and I thought that was really cool. I absolutely wanted to make sure to mention that. And Syntex is also offering $10,000 towards closing clause on any of their floor plans. So um, the pricing sheet that they gave me, it literally lists every single floor plan that they have available. And over here, lender closing costs. And of course that does mean that you have to go through their preferred lender. However, that is a pretty substantial number whenever you're talking about free money game they gifted to you, essentially. Next up, taking a look at Pulte Homes, which was, of course, the second home that we went and saw. Homes that are closed by August 31st are offered rates as low as 4.25% in terms of interest rates, which is very low and compared to other builders, perhaps, that is a very low rate. So if you're wanting to lock that in, make sure to go ahead and give us a call, text, or email so we can go ahead and start the home buying process or building process. On their to-be-built houses, they are offering both $12,500 for upgrades and an additional $12,500 for closing costs. So that's a pretty good bang for your buck. Again, local information that's on their website that you can check out for yourself if you want. I guess I should say last with David Weekly Homes. They are offering this deal, but essentially select homes that are purchased before June 30th, which today it is June 10th. Select homes that are purchased before June 30th. They're offering this deal where you essentially get a reduced interest rate and mortgage for the first 24 months of your mortgage loan. Once you get past those 24 months, the first 24 months, then it will increase in interest rate and your PI principal and interest will increase as well. But I think it's a pretty cool deal, especially if you are a buyer that's needing, you know, of course with closing costs and a lot of those things that accumulate can really help you kind of get under your feet within the first two years of your mortgage loan if this is something that you're looking for. And the David Weekly homes were the highest priced as well. So if you think it's too high priced, keep this in the back of your head before June 30th this is an option. Well guys, that just about covers the main incentives that each of these builders are offering. You guys already know to give me a call, text, or email days, nights, and weekends so I can help you make your property dreams come true. Make sure to check out some of my other videos on new build communities located all around San Antonio, Texas. I've spent tons of hours filming these just for you guys so you can know exactly what you're getting here in San Antonio, Texas. While you're choosing one of these videos, I'm gonna be working on filming the next one for you guys and we'll see you guys later.